So what is ISO? Well, it stands for International Standard Organization, but really you just need to know that it's your film speed. So what does that mean? Well, uh, the numbers uh, tell your, your camera sensor how sensitive it needs to be for light. So this could range from 100 and mine reaches 26,500. Um, there's trade-offs to this and we'll get into that in a minute. So basically when you increase this, this number here, you're making the camera sensor, let's pretend this is the camera, you're making this camera more sensitive to light. So those numbers act like a magnifying glass. So if this is the light, little light bulb, going into the magnifying glass, it controls how much or how little it goes inside. So, you know, plus, negative, how much, how little. So let me show you some examples here of what I mean. So this is shot at ISO 500. This is right in the morning. This is the only light source in the living room here. And if I increase it to 2000, you'll notice that this is more kind of what it had looked like to the human eye. Now if we increase this, now, now before, before I go to the higher one, notice you, we're getting grain here. We're getting this digital noise. That's what happens when you start increasing your ISO up to numbers in this ballpark. Now we cranked it here to 25,600. And you can see it looks just like a super bright day, but I'll zoom in here. There's tons of digital grain here. And you really don't want that. That's something you, you, you really want to avoid. So my suggestion is you kind of want to stick around with 100 to 500 in good lighting situations. Um, when I would shoot in a, a events, you can, you can get away with 800 to you know, maybe 1600. This de really depends on what kind of camera you have. Some cameras can handle the higher ISOs very, very well. So basically, you just have to kind of mess around with it and find that sweet spot for uh, whatever type of lighting you're going to use. That means adjusting your aperture and your shutter uh, to correlate with the ISO. So remember, the ISO is how sensitive your camera is to light. So the higher the number, the more sensitive it's going to be, however, it will start degrading your photo. So just play around with it and, and, and have fun. Good luck.